Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. What are you on about? Breaking right into prison. Well, uh, no. Prison is spelled with a P, and it's B right to back. You know how it goes. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's do it. I kind of want to just try to finish this area. I really do. It won't be long, um, but it will require a little bit of diligence on our part. Make yourself half a sandwich. Ooh, oh. No, a sandwich. Got it. I was going to say, who the hell eats half a sandwich? I was going to give you so much shit. Not going to lie. So much shit. <laughs> For eating half a sandwich. I was like, no one, no one eats half a sandwich. That's just not a thing. So we got all of that. So this needs to actually go down one layer and uh, subsequent layers also need to go down one layer. Because then we can go ahead and put all of our sandy bits there. If you share the sandwich, I guess. But like most people don't intend to eat a sandwich with sharing involved. Right? They're like, hey, I'm going to make a sandwich. Do you want one too? You know? It's not like, oh, I'm making a sandwich. Would you like half? At least not for me anyway. Because, like, I want the whole sandwich. I'm hungry. So, like, I will make you a sandwich with it, but I, I, I'm eating the sandwich. If you're in a park, share a sub a lot. A sub, I think, is different, though, than, like, a, like, turkey sandwich, right? Like, a, a six-inch sub is something that could easily be more shared. Whereas, like, a turkey or ham sandwich on, like, plain white bread, I don't think is a, a shareable thing. And if, but if you're in a park, if you're in a park, though, I would have brought two sandwiches. Like, I would have brought a sandwich for me and the person that I'm with. Two sandwiches. <laughs> Not one sandwich. Two. I will agree that subs can be shared, though. Because subs are a little bit bigger than just a normal sandwich. Usually a sub is a foot long, right? So that seems more justifiable to be able to share. Because I know people that definitely could not eat an entire 6-inch or an entire 12-inch sandwich by themselves. So it makes sense that, you know, they have a 6-inch sandwich. I will not agree, though, to plain white bread is a shareable sandwich. Will not agree. Veto. Go. <laughs> you could definitely eat a 12 inch. I mean, when we're talking about sandwiches, knows no no bounds. I'm plain white bread. Wow, that's the the worst thing you've ever said to me. Hope you know that. Rude. Fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What does that mean? Um, so, like, there's a couple different types of, like, bread you could get, right? The most common is, like, plain white bread. And it just means it's, like, flavorless and like basic I guess is, is the word to describe it 
It's a, it's actually a very cruel thing to say. <laughs> uh. I, I can honestly say in my life I have never been called plain white bread by anyone except for Cryptonics now. <clears throat> I can honestly say that. <clears throat> oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. That was dumb. <clears throat> like, it's not even like rye bread or like wheat. It's just plain white. Like, what? No. No pumpernickel, no, nothing good. Nothing. It's kind of annoying that I did this a one block too low also. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind white bread, but I would rather have just about any other kind of bread. <laughs> really special. Oh, Lord. Let's see here. So, if all things go according to plan, we actually might get be able to finish something today. But uh, with this stream, that does not seem very likely that all things just go according to plan, to be completely honest. So... We'll see. We'll see here. I like the way the layout is, so I'm gonna try to keep it as best as we can here. In love white bread. What? You're in love with white bread? One. You love white bread. I mean, it's good, but it's not anything special, right? It's not a sourdough. It's not a pumpernickel. It's not a rye bread. It's not a... It's none of those things. Like, pumpernickel is, like, one of my favorite breads. Most, most like, Americans don't know what pumpernickel is, but it is such a good bread. Americans add sugar to your bread. Most bread in America does, in fact, contain sugar, yes. That is, that is very accurate. You can get it without it, but uh, most bread here does contain sugar. Most things here that shouldn't contain sugar contain sugar, actually. <laughs> like, there, there's, a, there's so many things here that should not contain sugar, all that does. And I think it's just become one of those things that uh, I don't think Americans would eat it. If it didn't have sugar in it, I, I genuinely don't think that uh, Americans would eat it. But like even things you wouldn't think has sugar also has sugar in it here in America. And it's, uh, it's kind of bizarre, honestly. Kind of bizarre. Fifteen minutes. Oh God. Oh, I don't know if you're telling the truth or not. I don't know how many points you actually have. I feel like you are actually very close to the interior attack, though. I feel like you are actually pretty close. Prepare your saying. Yeah, I know. I don't know how close you are, but we, we do know that you are close. Oh, 
There's a lot of mobs down there. Good golly. Good lord. Oh, you're you're 30 points away. Is that what you're saying? Is that what the the flag thing was? You're 30 points away. Oh Jesus. Now the real question is, do you redeem it this stream or do you completely derail us on the next stream? That's the the question. Do you wait till I'm like lulled into a false sense of security where I'm like, I'm going to do this today. And then you're just like, you drop it or do you just use it now? That's, that's the question. And I feel like you're more of a use it now kind of person than waiting for the most opportune like moment to use it. So I think you'll probably use it very, like, right away, probably. That would be my guess. <sighs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, they come from the YouTube here. We have channel reward points on our Twitch, right? And one of them, which is fairly expensive, at 7,500 Viking coins which equates to a long time of watching and clicking on the chest for bonus loot and stuff like that, makes me have to build them a house for a villager to live in, basically. And uh, it's crazy. <laughs> It'll be one for the, the ages, because it will be our first house inside the, the domicile here. And this one probably will have an interior as a result of that as well. Which is not something that I typically do. I don't usually go ahead and add any kind of, uh, of interiors. So it'll be one of the few houses that is actually has an interior. It'll be the first house built in this fashion over here. And it hopefully will be the first of many. But it also means that the project will be expanding a little bit. So we have always planned on building over in that general direction anyway. However, this will make me start building there before I've even uh, finished this area. <clears throat> An asshole forces me to do stuff I don't want to do. Gone wrong. Yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty much it, but... I do put these channel points in myself, so they are all things that I am willing to do. And just to kind of make it fun for you guys, right? But is, I definitely do have some options in there purely to annoy us and to cause us, you know, a little bit of pain. Won't look good on the title. Uh, no, no, it won't. I would probably call it like, hmm, the lone house or something. I don't know. Some, something like along those lines, but I, I don't know exactly what I'd call it. I can't believe it has an interior, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> something cheeky and stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir, you do not belong in the crystalline things, dude. You do not belong in here. How did you spawn there? 
how there's a torch here my guy did you spawn back there how did you spawn Is this self touch okay let's try a couple more in here just to make sure that that doesn't happen again uh, we can put one there too, just to like illuminate it just a little bit more, because I uh, I didn't expect that to be there. Dude, the cactuses look so good. I I do kind of wish that I was allowed nature in this build because I know for a fact we could make this even better than what it currently is, and that's crazy. Hmm. A cat dad. Cat dad. That's fair. That is fair. All right, one more layer in which to lower. Do you know who are the sneakiest of uh, of knights? Or who is the sneakiest of knights, rather? There was no creeper. We were never in any danger. It's all okay. <laughs> Calico. Like Chris Calico? Black Cat. It's a breed. I mean, fair, I guess, but I was making a joke. <laughs> I was making a joke, yeah. Orange is a breed. Yep, nailed it. Absolutely freaking nailed it. I don't know him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And we can just do the final layer here. If I had any kind of forethought, I would have done this to begin with, but uh, we didn't do that. So as a result, we've had to do a little bit more effort than we needed to. As a result of not, uh, not putting it down one block here. So it is what it is. We'll have to fix it. Not a big deal. You don't know the orange cat? What? But it's your cat. How don't you know it? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. I'm perpetually worried about it. Why do I have sand in my inventory? How was I doing with all of it? <laughs> what do you think, Kryptonix? Will he uh, will he redeem it today, or will he wait until I am more at a vulnerable state and could easily make it a distraction from what I am trying to accomplish? Will he use it today? He will never redeem it? No, he'll definitely redeem it. It's just a matter of when will he redeem it. He's already done like... 
I don't know, 2,000 points or so worth of tactical detours, maybe more. Like, he's had us gather, like, 20, 25 stacks of materials. He won't do it right now. I, I think he is spontaneous, and I think he's going to use it the second he gets the points for it, is my, my prediction. The second he gets the points, I think he's going to use it. Hello. Why are you? Damn these psychological games. <laughs> Who's playing psychological games? I'm just playing Minecraft. No, no, no. I'm playing Minecraft. See? <laughs> now I gotta think. <laughs> Will you stream tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. So no, I will not be streaming tomorrow. You'd have to wait all the way until most likely Monday with an option of Saturday or Sunday. But most likely Monday. But I do never stream on Fridays. No, I, I work all weekend, so. But I have like other things to do after work both of those days, so we'll see. It, it, there's a chance that I stream on Sunday, but not 100% guaranteed. Monday is like a 99% chance though. Unless I'm just like really not feeling it, like I, I will most likely be here on Monday. Can't wait all that time. I know. Isn't that the beauty of it? <laughs> Got him. Got him. So he's going to redeem it is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'm done. There's nothing funny. There is a lot funny going on here. There is a lot funny. I do I was practicing my uh my evil villain laugh there. So much funny, indeed. Indeed. In frickin' deed. Sir, I don't like that you steal my blocks. Can you not? I still think Minecraft needs to add one little rule Enderman change. Like, make them extremely hyperactive, but give them the ability to not pick up any blocks that a player has placed. I don't care if they picked up, like, a hundred blocks, you know? As long as it's not a block that I freaking placed, they can pick up whatever the hell they want. Let's see. Here's the moment of truth. He's got the points. Will he do it? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, shit. He did it. <laughs> well, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> very anticlimactic. All right. He has redeemed it. Get back to work. I'm getting the work, man. We doing it. We got a lot. Well, we got to... We gotta Cover this up first and foremost, and then we can start. So I guess we'll just clear down to this layer. 
Uh, you may have proved him wrong, but you proved me absolutely correct. So you've just fully admitted and acknowledged uh, that I know you better than I than you think I do. <laughs> you prove him right, but you prove or you proved me right. Congratulations. All right, so we're going to build the landscape here. And like I said, I don't know if we will finish it today. Don't know if we will. But if not, it will be the very first thing I do. There we go. So I was never in this. <laughs> I, I'm still kind of sad that he didn't wait for the 10k point, though. I really wanted to make a custom mini biome, and kind of sad that he didn't hold out for it, honestly. Really wanted to make that mini biome. I think I'm going to uh, make like another option in there, just so that I have a bigger chance at getting to make my mini biomes. <laughs> Don't worry, man. That's going to take you a long time to get to 10K. Long time. Starting at zero, that's, uh, that's a, a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but it's a, it's a long time. Um, how often you have 8k? There's no way you have 8k. Do you really? Give us gambling or give us death. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hmm, maybe, maybe I'll figure out how to do gambling for you guys. That could be fun. What's up, God? We just had, uh, lots of lurking? I guess, shit. I thought Khan honestly would have the most points, but uh, hmm, you you might be a contender now, actually, crap. You might be a contender. I spent so much. Yeah, you have. You you have spent a lot on stupid shit. It's all stupid shit. <laughs> it's all stupid shit. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Anyway, we're uh, working on uh, Mr. Lexi's redemption here, where we are trying to build up this terrain a little bit. And that's just so that we can have more areas for houses. Otherwise, we can only fit, like, six. Gave your prime away this month already? No worries. <laughs> just means you cannot get uh, points as fast. So it's, it's kind of, like, opportunistic for me. <laughs> Like, and it's not even that big of a boost, honestly. Like, it, it is a boost, but it's, n it's like 1.2 or something. So it's not a huge advantage. <laughs> Let's see if the, uh, the alert works. My lord, oh. my lord, come quick. Looks like there's a sub on the horizon. A sub? A sub, you say? <laughs> it did work. Oh, it did work. Nice. Thank you for that, Prime, sir. I appreciate that. Have you seen the game Pacific Drive? No, but wasn't that a movie? 
like uh, big ass metal robots fighting. It's weird that you have the first. Oh, because you're a founder. Pacific Rim. Oh, you're right. You're right. Mm, then no, I don't know what the game Pacific Drive is. But I appreciate that and hoped you liked my goofy ass sub alert. Uh, obviously, it's just me doing funny voices, but all the alerts are different funny, stupid voices for me. So, <laughs> one of them's Batman. One of them's like Mickey Mouse, I think. Uh, one of them's like a World of Warcraft pe uh, peon or peasant. It seems kind of up your alley. Uh, what's it about? Or what kind of game is it, rather? Is it a puzzle? Is it a horror? Is it a platformer? Survival crafting car driving anomaly simulator. What the fuck? That's, that's a lot of things that shouldn't go together right there, I feel like. <laughs> Like, none of that should go together. It fucking works, though. Huh. Survival crafting car driving anomaly simulator. So, like, things that shouldn't happen happen? Anomalies? So like you're driving and then all of a sudden there's a boat or a car or a zombie or something. Or like the car breaks down, I guess, could be like an anomaly. Hmm. I'll have to look at it later. See uh, how it feels, how it looks. Not sure on that one. Also, I'm very happy that my sub alert worked there, by the way. Because, like, nine times out of ten, the sub alert just does not fucking work. Like, at all. Just doesn't work. You get sucked into the zone and find a station wagon known as a remnant and have to work your way around the world in small pockets of stability to find your way out. Is that the like game description or did you make that up? Because if you made that up, that's actually pretty damn good. Like that sounds very good. <laughs> you just wrote it? Nice. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, we need a shit fuck ton more dirt. Shit fuck ton. Alright, so... If we want this to be hilly, we'll make it hilly, but we're going to have to do our own terrain here. I think Alexi's reward here is going to turn into many, many hours being the first reward here. We need to turn this down. I can't. I can't. Oh, there we go. Just uh, given the nature of how big this island is and the terraforming that we have to do, it's going to take a long, like a couple hours to do this first house. After the first house, I think all the rest of the houses will be super easy. But first one is going to suck. A lot of terraforming. Dredge vibes loved the shit out of Dredge, so I, I got it. I never played Dredge either, but I will definitely give it a look and see if it is something that I'd want to play. Definitely will. Y you've got my interest uh, peaked a little bit. It sounds cool. It sounds very cool. Is it, uh, is it multiplayer? Is it single player? Or both? Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me 
I take a quick drink real quick. Single player story driven. Okay. <coughs> Sounds cool. Sounds very, very cool. Do y'all drink milk? No. I, I I don't understand people that drink milk actually. <laughs> Like, who do, do people just have a glass of milk? If so, that's a, that's a horrifying thing. What the hell? <laughs> Weird. People just drink milk. Who knew? You're just drinking a glass of milk? Like, if you have a peanut butter sandwich or something, maybe, or a, a hot chocolate cookie, that could be good. But a glass of milk? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Glass of milk. <laughs> My dad actually used to do that, and I, I still think it's a weird, weird thing. Like, during dinner, his drink of choice was like, I'm going to be... I'm going to have a milk. It's like, okay. Could have chosen anything else, but uh, you chose milk. Water, beer, juice, tea, alcohol. You know, there's so many better choices. Swear to God, I heard something right there. Swear to God, I heard a creeper. Okay, let me turn that up a little bit. Looks. I'm like on edge right now. Makes your bones stronger. I don't know if that it actually does, honestly. I think that's something that everyone has ever always said. But I don't know if anyone has actually verified that information or not. You're edging. Congratulations. And what did he win, Bob? That's right, a new car because he is an edge lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? has calcium or some shit. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I still don't know if they actually prove that calcium strengthens your bones, though. Because your bones are made out of calcium, are they not? Aware he is. <laughs> So, like, if your bones are made out of it, though, how could it make your bones stronger? Hmm. This is like believing that pigeons and birds are real. Like, birds do not exist. They are part of the simulation. They are part of the freaking simulation, man. gonna take a minute uh let's go fly because we're not going to deal with creepers while we are doing this nonsense let's go sleep the night away and then we shall return over there all world government spies and the pandemic was just an excuse to change their batteries yep exactly Egg freaking Zach Lake. 
damn birds, man. Ooh, sugar cane. Hello. Uh, we might actually need sugar cane soon because we don't have enough rockets. Oh, shoot. We need to build the mob farm very heckin' soon. Very, very soon. They actually had to bioengineer a virus to release the world to keep the sheep placent. Yep. You got it. And then create a vaccine that they can be immune to that virus that they created in the first place. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh no, a creeper. Ooh woo, scary. <laughs> I mean, last stream we definitely almost died to a creeper, so. It's, I think it's fair. The vaccine was real, it was trying to earn our trust, but we're smarter than they take us for. Mm. Got it. What's, uh, there's a YouTuber guy that was like, he did funny skits about that. Uh, about like the frogs. Like the frogs being gay or something. Who the hell was that guy? He was like, make the frogs gay. Do you know what I'm talking about? What's wrong with gay frogs? Nothing is wrong with gay frogs. But he said it. <laughs> and the words of Seinfeld. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Who was that guy? God. Uh, he had like a catchy theme song. I feel like he had a lot of hair, too. Like, he had a, a big mane. What the fuck was that lad's name? Oh, oh, it was, uh, it was Big Money Salvia. I can't remember what his actual YouTube name was, but he went by Big Money Salvia. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anyone know what the hell I'm talking about? God, what the hell was his real his his YouTube name though? Hmm. Hold on, I gotta look this shit up. Uh, let's see. Big money Salvia. His name is Internet Comment Etiquette. Internet Comment Etiquette. He would say some, like, weird Ted Jones shit all the time. <laughs> oh, what is this? But he won't even kiss the homies goodnight. Uh, I'm actually pretty bad with that, as, as you know. I'm pretty bad at even saying goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah. And as a turtle, I think I have beef with the frogs. I think that is just how it goes. I think we just have beef with the frogs. Goes and gets a sandwich, yep. I mean, you're the only one that gets that reference for the record. <laughs> but yeah. You, you are the only one that gets that reference, God. Nope. 
no vetches here, so. In case you're wondering, though, what the hell that he was talking about. There was one year where I told them, hey, I, hey I'm going to go make a sandwich. And then I ended up disappearing off the internet, basically, for like eight months. Uh, and then I came back, and they were giving me shit because, you know, it was the best damn sandwich of their lives, so. You know. You know how it goes. <laughs> no, I literally, like, I, I told them I was going to go make a sandwich and then didn't come back for eight months. Which, you know, fair. That, that's That's pretty fair. I have not gotten a sandwich in a long time, though, after that. I feel like I lived that. You may have lived that. I think I was streaming a lot at the time, and then I just suddenly did not stream also. <laughs> you may have very well lived that. I'll hate you more. I mean, get in line. There's, there's quite a queue. Starting with my third grade teacher who said that my cursive was good because she was full of shit. My cursive looks like fucking a monkey wrote it. It's real bad. She lied. I fucking lied, man. V, hello puppers. Oh, look at the baby. Hi. Watch out, puppers. Oh, yes. Hello. Hi. All cursive looks like a monkey wrote it. Mm, maybe. Be careful mentioning cursive. You're dating yourself. I mean, yeah. I'm old. I learned cursive in third grade. Everyone knows I'm old. <laughs> it is no surprise. We're all boomers now. Yeah. I think we're Gen Z. No, no, we're millennials, right? We're we're millennials. I think so, anyway. And, uh, Crip, yeah, you probably could have gotten a sandwich with me, honestly. I disappeared for a long, long time. Long, long time. Ooh, look at those pretty fish. Ooh, you. you this fish right here. I like this fish. You are good. You fit the theme of my base. Ooh, I want that. Went 3-0 and in another clash? Nice. League has currently uh, pissed me off a lot, so I have try been trying to avoid it for, for a little while now. <laughs> I think I'm at 0 LP for Plat 3 right now. So uh, like I literally went from plat two eighty eight LP to plat three zero LP. So I've kind of uh, stopped playing at the moment, or at least as regularly. Why did I disappear? Uh, I have no idea. I just was like, I guess I needed a break from the internet and like gaming in general, and I just took it. And I just disappeared. Just took it. Thirty-three percent win rate. All right, all right. I think I still have a fifty percent, but I am getting just 
massacred. Like, truly, every game has an AFK in it, and even though I'm getting, like, lost mitigation from it, it's just like I'm losing points every time. It's great. It, it's, it's a wonderful experience, honestly. Truly a wonderful experience. I'm still convinced that we play League just out of force of habit and not because we actually enjoy playing League, by the way. Like, when it's a, a team of five of us, it's it's fun, right? Unless, uh, unless Vet just tries to surrender. It's very fun. But as a single player game, it is not fun. It never has been, never will be. <clears throat> They're just sad games. No, I feel the same thing. Every once in a while, I'll perform uh, like my K my my KDA will be like awful. But like, if you look at like the macro play and stuff in it, then it's like fine, right? Like I managed waves. I cleared a lot of wards. I placed a lot of wards. I got vision. I you know. So like, you can't ever look at just my. Stop. Can't ever just look at like the KDA. God. Uh, you see how long this is taking, Alexi, by the way? Jesus. I'm bad at like 9.8. Get a builder's wand? Yeah. I would love to have a builder's wand. That'd be so nice. All right, so this one needs to, we'd probably want to tier this, right? Um, we're going to want to tier this, right? Yes. You are good because it's going to take us longer than just today to do this. I can tell you that right now. Like, we might get the terraforming done today that w so we can build on this landscape. But I don't even think we're going to... Like, th that's a stretch, too. It's a lot. Yeah, you bastard. It is a lot. Save the turtles. They're saved. They're on land. For all of the stream. I mean, that's fair. It's going to take us multiple, so it's okay. <laughs> does this still work? It does. Why does that look slightly different? See, they're chilling. They're just, they're chilling. We do not kill turtles. We are a turtle. We can't kill them. I can tell that there's something different with what he's writing, but I can't tell what it is, if, if that's what you're, you're saying or insinuating here. Like, it, it looks very, very similar. So I can't quite tell what it is, but there's something. Did you see now yours looks the same. Did you do the thing or no? Hmm. Hmm. Can't tell. Genuinely cannot tell. <laughs> His IQ is lower than we expected. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It, it really is. Okay, Alexi's look different. But I don't know why it looks different.
I don't know. His are normal. Mine are the weird ones. No, his for sure is the, the weird ones, but I don't know what he's doing to make it weird. Like, I, I don't know what he's doing to make it weird. Like, it just looks different to me. that we might as well get rid of this floating thing too since it's been here forever goodbye mm -hmm. historical monument it's been destroyed You mon you're a monster! Not the gumdrop buttons! Probably feed plastic straws to turtles too. Are you saying that turtles can't have a daddy kink? Is that what you're trying to say over here? How do you know the turtles don't have daddy kinks? Uh, yes. I've seen uh, Baylor Lord play that one. I watched a little bit of it. Watched a little bit of it. I usually only watch his his Slay the Spire content, but I do I was watching a little bit of that. Hi Ari. Oh hello. 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 Yeah. What up, Papa Chino? Are you craving attention, huh? No, that I can tell is very different. That is very different for sure. It's like smaller and squished. Only play three cards, super weird, but fun. Nice. I'm not going to lie. I have a real hard time with, like, card game roguelikes now because of Slay the Spire. Like, I really, really, really enjoy that game. And as a result, it is very difficult for me to like and play the others. Because, like, I don't really like the art style right away. And if I don't like the art style right away, I'm probably not playing it. Same thing with, like, Monster Train. I, uh, I didn't think it was, like, as fun as Slay the Spire. Okay, so that's good. So next, we'd want to build up the terrain over here, I think. So we'd leave this one like this and then try to give some edges. I mean, I can easily read what you wrote there. <laughs> He likes bananas, ladies and gentlemen. He likes them. He really likes them. Frost Prime. Uh, I watched Baylor play that one too, actually, and I was not impressed. I was not impressed.
for us to eat. Not a game. There's, I, I swear to God, there's a game that sounds like that, though. That is, uh, that Baylor has played. Lurk. Sorry, don't have a lurk command. <laughs> Bad at streaming, remember. Bad at it. Maybe I should get a bot at some point. Figure that out. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? Shouldn't be that difficult. If it is a streamer, though, I have no idea who Frost Prime is. But I'm assuming he plays... Oh. He plays Slay the Spire. Got it. I watch Jorbs, I watch Baylor, and I watch uh, Red Bearded McGee play Slay the Spire. And I think that's about it. It's one of the goats. I mean, Baylor is the goat, though. I think Baylor currently still holds the world record for rotating characters. At 21 or whatever the fuck it was, I think. 21 wins in a row, Ascension 20 heart kills. Rotating characters. When will you be done with the landscape? Whenever I'm done. We're working on it. The slay the streamer streams yeah those are cool baylor's done a couple of those too as well as the the modded spire and then like the low budget spire and he also does like the like challenges too like he did a mastery challenge where he in over the course of like i don't know probably 500 runs or something you had to finish each of the like uh, kill the heart on act 20 ascension 20 and you master a card by having two or more copies of the same card in your deck. And so he mastered all 352 cards by winning Slay the Spire A20 heart kills by doing each and every single card at some point in his deck with two or more copies in his deck. So like it, he even included like curses too. So, like, shames and, like, clumsies and, like, like all of those. He, he, it was, it was really cool to watch, actually. How many years does a year have in it? Two calling bell curses. Yeah, he had two, he has done that. He did that, too. It is one of the curses that you can master. And he had to have two ascenders banes at one time. He had to do all of that. Doesn't have the blue thing. What blue thing? All right, so we're gonna, this is gonna take a while because we have to do a few things. Not only do we have to terraform the area, but we also have to plan out like where these houses are going to be. This text was supposed to have a blue outline. Okay, weird. Yeah, we had to plan out quite a bit of shit here, though. Got to plan out where the walls are going to be, where the houses are going to be. Um a lot of things here so it's gonna take as long as it takes like i said this first house is gonna take the longest can't really see the clear difference i mean i can tell that you're like boldening it but like other than that or like italicizing or whatever other than that no Okay. 
hot pink. How can you not see it? If it really, truly is hot pink, I definitely am missing it. <laughs> it definitely does not exist. Right, let's light this up because we're going to be performing a uh, an Etho classic. Or a thing that Etho hates, rather. You slash me? <coughs> Weird. We're definitely uh, just going to cover that up. I am not filling it in. We are literally just going to cover this shit up. Man, why do you... Why, why is everyone trying to see my OnlyFans? What the fuck? Weird. Weird flex. Only I have the link. So you're you're paying for my OnlyFans? Is that what you're saying? He thinks, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. He thinks it's just him. But in reality, get them straight to the Snapchat. Ooh yeah. Indeed. I get them from Mitchell, too. I'm a unsubscribe. You're not subscribed already. <laughs> Where did you get that block from, sir? Hmm? Where'd you get it? You're subscribed to my OnlyFans? Or was? Little bro dipped. Yeah, he did. He stole my damn block. It has occurred to me that I shouldn't be bothering with this. Because we're going to have to... When we do the sand over here, we're going to have to do a little bit more. So let's do it like that. Dumbo griefing falls. I wish they would just do the thing. Just build the goddamn house. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. I'm not just going to build the house and then have to tear it down when it's in the wrong spot or when it doesn't fit the vision that I'm working with here. All right. That's not how this goes. You chose the reward. You accept the consequences. That's how it goes. We have to prep to have the house first. We got to do the... Uh, I did not pay for this. Technically, you didn't pay at all. <laughs> it is part of building your house. You will get your house when I'm done. You did, yes. But points are accumulated for free. Anyway, point is, you will get your house as soon as I am done with landscaping it. They do cost time, yes. I mean, they are free, though, because you don't have to pay anything for them. Hell, you don't even have to watch. You can just, like, put it on your phone and start accumulating points, you know? We can go do something else and just keep me on the phone and you'll get points.
Unless I'm not streaming, of course. Then you then you will not get points, but pretty pug. Another Pokemon game? Jesus, dude. God, we keep running out of freaking materials. The landscape is almost prepared to start building the house. But it takes time, man. We have so... We gotta plot all of this out, because... This is like part of my mega build, so like, although it is your house, right? But part of the mega build, and I want to make sure that it looks good. Pretty Pog. I don't think I've played a Pokemon game in a very long time. Aside from Pokemon Go, I think the last Pokemon game that I played was probably Emerald. Build the house on the next stream. I mean, it could be. The house will get built. We just have little things to to do first. Do you have a switch? I do have a switch. Because I need to sleep. We'll just wait till you leave, and then I'll build the house. <laughs> I I watch Small Ant play it and I I don't eh 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 All right, so let's try to do Don't do that, man. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes you're just wrong. Eh Pokemon and Star Wars games are just not for me. I think that's that's really the kicker here. Never been that much of a fan. Or you'll get Daddy Men. Daddy is me. It's in the title. Look in the stream tags. <clears throat> Literally, I am Daddy. Your emerald was a lie. Why was it a lie? We played Pixelmon. Does that real? Does that count though? Like that's not really a Pokemon game. It's, it's Pixelmon. But if you count that, then yes, I guess uh, Pixelmon was the last one that I played. <coughs> Counted. All right, fine. Pixelmon was the last one I played. Stream doesn't have the tags. What do you mean it doesn't have tags? My tags are gone? Confirmed no tags. Oh, shit. I must have gotten rid of them or something. Well, then shit. I've been waiting for my drops. You are not the daddy. Here are my drops, Summer. Gotta just build this section up here, that section there, and then we can work on the next phase of this. It probably will be next time that we build the house, to be completely honest with you, though. Smant streaming. I never get to catch him, lie. Sure you want to party with the demons? I mean, demons already live rent-free in my head. So, like, the, 
Demons are fine, man. <laughs> They're fine. Did you uh did you watch him do the uh the Iron Man challenge by the way, Con? <clears throat> I I watched that video the other day. I thought it was really good. Haven't watched the video yet. It was really good. I didn't really understand a whole lot of the rules, but uh it seemed really cool. Took him 1,787 attempts. That's a lot of fucking attempts, man. It's a randomizer. You can only use one Pokemon. Yeah, but then there's like... There, there's like 50 total rules, though. That you have to follow for this. Like, it's about your potion use. It's about, like, how you have to, like, level up your character. About, like, if you can enter things. Uh... No, you can over-level. Better be ready. Mm, yeah, probably won't be. <laughs> it's going to take as long as it takes, but uh, enjoy. Have a good night. Get to that sleep. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm pretty sure he said he was getting a tattoo of whatever iron money he won with. Oh, really? That's cool. That's cool. Smant said he's going to the the harder version of that now. Like he's going to start doing runs with it, so it's probably going to take him a year and a half to beat it or whatever, but he said he's going to start doing runs of the harder version very, very soon. So he's doing it right now. Oh, there you go. There you go. HGSS. The fuck does that stand for? Heart, gold, soul, silver. Oh, okay. Let's go sleep. The Gen 2 remakes. Okay. Is there like a hundred rules or something? No, I told you. Like I watched the original season one. I un un I watched uh, season one of Pokemon, and then like maybe a little bit of season two. But like by the time Gen three came out, I was no longer watching or playing any Pokemon. They got like those ice cream cones and shit over there. I don't know. There's like 900 Pokemon now. Some crazy ass shit. Only 900 Pokemon. I, I don't know how many Pokemon there are. Is there more than that? I don't know. Last I remember, there was like 900 or something. 1,025. Oh, so they just released a new gen. Got it. Okay. They just released a new gen then. Got it. Like two years ago? Oh, so they're ready to release a new gen then, right? That's how that works.
Is that how that works? Pokemon Day was a couple days ago. And they didn't release a game for it? What kind of shit is that? No new gen was announced? Wow, that's fucked. I bet you it's probably getting, like, difficult to create Pokemon at this point, though. They're like, what haven't we done? Oh, yeah, a triangle with wings. All right, let's do that. Game set in Gen 6. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so I'll probably want to have this area be a little bit down here. So let's go something like this. Fan creators popping up with all new ideas all the time. Yeah, fair. Alright, so we'd want this one to be... This should be a little bit more tentative here. Something like that for the next one, I think. Uh, Power's gonna get sued. Like, no, it's not. You can't make a monster that doesn't resemble Pokemon when there's a thousand twenty-five. Yeah. Plus, there are so many animals that they have never made Pokemon from. Typo combinations that they haven't utilized. Fair enough. Is there bug fairies yet? Does Eevee have a bug evolution yet? And now I ate my boy ghost fighting dope. There are bug fairies. Interesting. No Eevee fairy. Okay. No bug Eevee. That's sad. There's, there's like eight different Eevees now, right? Ten different Eevees? Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, Espeon. Um, Umbreon. That's it. I think that's all I can name. Those five. I think... I think that's literally all I can name. I don't think there will ever be a bug Eevee. Mm -hmm. Missed opportunity. Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Umbreon, Espeon, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. Okay, yeah, there. I, there's a couple of those I definitely did not know. Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon, for example, are the ones I do not know. Obviously, one's like a glacial type, though. One's like a fucking uh, leaf type, and one's like a uh, Sylveon. I, I don't, I don't have a guess of that one actually. Sylveon, fairy. Yeah, okay. A separate Pokemon for the physical type? Like another Pokemon that can evolve like Eevee with a shit ton of stones? This is the Gen Fairy was created. Oh uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Because there, there's no other Pokemon in all of Pokemon, right? That can evolve as many ways as Eevee can. So it would be kind of cool to have another Pokemon that could do the same thing. That'd be pretty cool. Eevee is the evolution Pokemon. Yeah, but you could make more than one Pokemon. Others are were separate methods. 
That's why it can evolve so many ways. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Shovel starting to die a little bit here. Hate trade evos because it requires you to have friends. That's fair. I remember back in the day, you had to. What didn't you have to trade to get a Gengar or something, or a Mewtwo maybe? Get a trade for something. To do uh, a trade evolution. Or you just have to have money. Yeah, that too. So I could never play with them. Yeah. Uh, why are we doing this like this? Alakazam were the main ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machamp. Machamp. Golem, yeah. I wonder why they ended up doing that in the first place. Like, hey, we got this really cool Pokemon for you, but you can't have it unless you have friends. It's kind of fucked. <laughs> Kind of fucked. It's the point of the game to have friends? Oh, God. <laughs> the link cable, which was mind blowing back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, I think I still have my link cable, actually. From way back when. I still have my Game Genie from way back in the day. Bugs with his buddies in Japan and wanted to make a game out of his experience. Oh, that's cool. Had the link cable item to evolve trade evos, and I wish they'd put it into all future games. Yeah. That's fair. That is fair. Two switches, so get fucked, yeah. <laughs> you tell him, Cod. You tell him. This too. Uh, Legends release has a standalone game instead of two different types. Yeah, true. Well, three back in, for the original one. There was yellow, red, and blue. Three for the original. Three whole blocks. Yellow came out later than red and blue. Did it really? Hmm. I'm learning all sorts of Pokemon facts today. The emerald of the first gen. Hmm. Fair. Learning all sorts of weird shit today. Good, good for me. I own yellow, red, and blue. And then I don't think I have my gold and silver anymore, but I think I still have my emerald. I think I still have my emerald, yellow, red, and blue. 
and maybe silver. Now they do crappy DLC. Yeah. I mean, so many games do that now, though. So many. God, this terraforming is taken for fucking ever, man. I, I knew his reward was going to take a long time for me to do, by the way. I just knew it. I bet he wish he redeemed the custom biome now because I would have just started on it. Would have been as simple as that. But nope. He wanted a house. So because you wanted house, you have to pay the toll now. Out of dirt again, Jesus Christ. He's not even here to watch you build it. Exactly, I know. He went to bed. <laughs> but same thing happened last time where he uh, he redeemed one of the, the things that I was trying to collect that block there, the light gray terracotta, glazed terracotta or whatever. And it took me three hours. Literally like... After he redeemed it, I had already streamed for like an hour and a half that day. And then after, I for some reason decided, you know what? I, I'm going to fulfill this reward, this stream, no matter what. And I did, and it took me like three hours. <laughs> took so fucking long. And this one is going to take longer than that for sure. Because we have to do all of this terraforming before we can figure out where we even want the houses and like the sizes of the houses like this is prep work that I was not prepared to do hi Evie hi what's up oh hello hello little baby oh yeah what's going on huh what's going on you good poppers huh are you good a yoga girl. Neo. You are sometimes a good girl. The terraforming, honestly, is like the biggest part of this because if we had it already terraformed, this would not have been an issue. Uh, we could have just plotted out where the houses were going to be and made his house. But the fact that we had to terraform it first, that's going to take a long time. Long ass time here. So I got to plot out where the houses are going to be, where the paths are going to be, and where the walls are going to be, too. So I, I'm thinking about just uh, annoying him slightly. And since he's not here, obviously, I can, I can tell you this. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about just to ignore, annoying him a little bit here. So, like, I'm going to plot out the wall, and then I'm going to plot out, like the roads and I'm gonna plot out like where the houses go and then like where their communal areas <laughs> and I'm just gonna like drag this reward on for a long time and I think it'll be really funny since he always likes to troll me I think it'll be funny to like troll him a little bit you know because he's gonna be like you're gonna build the house this stream and I'm going to be like, nope, we got to do this first. <laughs> I think it'll be funny. I could just poof it into existence. It's, you're not wrong, but... Nah, I want to I wanna make them work for it a little bit. And then if someone else's reward happens to interrupt it, like... If someone does a more expensive reward, then I gotta go do their reward first, and uh, that'll really trigger him, and it'll be funny. It'll be really funny. 
<laughs> I know I shouldn't want to troll my viewers at all, but I, I really do. Every once in a while, it's just fun to troll. And I'm trolling via compliance, too. I am complying maliciously with what the fine print says. Which is uh, actually really funny to me. Like, really, really funny to me. God, we've placed a stupid amount of dirt today, though. I'll tell you that. Like an absolute stupid amount. So we'll get probably the terraforming done, and then we'll have to see what's next after that. But on the plus side, it makes it so that this build is even closer to being finished, and that is uh, it's nice. Now this island doesn't look like a jumbled mess, it actually looks like an island, so that is that's something. And then whoever redeems house number two, will it'll be really easy for me to just plop the house there. <laughs> and I won't make them take any kind of time or anything. I'll just put the house up. Because I will already have the terrain ready to go. Just put the house up. All right, that's done. All right, so... That looks a little weird. I don't quite love that. All right, something like that I think is a little bit better. So there'll be like different tiers and stuff like that too. That looks better. Uh, let's fly up real quick so I can see what's going on here. That's very nice, actually. We got nice rolling planes here, and then we want to swoop this one over there, I think. So let's bring this all the way. Over here. Just kind of going in this general direction, making it pretty. And then all the way here. So we'll need to terraform this now. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have fun. I have fun with this. We, we've used like four or five double chests of dirt today though, which is kind of absurd, honestly. Actually kind of absurd. Perfect. Egg. Can I hit the chicken? Pew! Oh, I missed. I missed the chicken. All right, we're doing this just in case. If I need to terraform it, at least we have something to place it on. And it's not going to be a huge hassle to, uh, like, have to dig down and put the sand out and, you know, all that. And none of this is going to be dirt anyway, so it is adding a little bit of extra effort that we will have to do here, but I always just want to 
like get it perfect, so it's fine. I am okay with doing a little bit of extra effort here. Why are you cooing? Hmm? Why do you coo? Hi. Why are you cooing? Why do you coo? You coo? Nickel. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. I don't know where you have been hiding, but you definitely were not near me. Uh, chicken, do you want to get buried alive or do you want to be rescued? Uh, the choice is really entirely up to you. If you happen to stay in the box, you will get buried alive. Uh, if you happen to choose to escape, then you escape and you live to tell another day. Tell another tale. And you've chosen freedom. Congratulations. Oh, maybe not. You've chosen death. All right, you've chosen death. Your death will be quick and painless, probably. Pro probably. Yep, quick and painless. <laughs> quick and painless. Look at that. I actually did not expect him to die as fast as he did there. So uh, that was a little bit unexpected. Okay. It's crazy what this landscape looked like when we started this, and now that it's just like a cohesive piece of terrain. Very weird. Very weird. All right, so that works pretty good, I think. Let's fly up again. Yeah, we got some like rolling hills, and uh, I think that works. Terraforming is complete on that. Still got to obviously build the houses and stuff, but uh, you know. We shall see. And then we'll have to get a villager over there too. That's going to be a real pain in the ass. Uh, we'll have to get them in, in a boat or something maybe. Jesus, look at all the Skeletors. Jesus. Yeah, I think I am sufficiently happy with that. Um, how would we go out about doing the connections here? We'll have to do the wall kind of weird, right? How did we do the front here? Uh, so it's got... So we can keep that, so then we'd need one... Yeah, we, we want that to be the same front and back, I think. Hello, Yorist? Nico? Hi, how are you? I, I probably butchered your name, and I apologize for that, but... Do you need some artwork for your channel? I do not. No, thank you. I do not. Not at this time. All right, 
right, so let's have a good one. You too. Au revoir. Voulez-vous coucher à vous? All right. I would like to build some on this wall now, since I can. Okay, so... Is it just all along here? With the exception of this. Uh, how, how do? We'd need, uh, I guess we would just start. So it's right below that, but it will be free. That's fair. That person also did not say if it was free or not, which is interesting. <laughs> that actually has happened a lot lately, though. I've gotten a lot of uh, people like, hey, do you need art? And it's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty good right now. Let's see, how can we do this to make this something? So we would have to continue the wall on this side in order to make it real, to make it like accurate. So you would continue this and then we have to do the pink below that and then we're able to put the other side of the wall as well. Uh, no. God, I hate placing stairs like this. I really do. There, there should be an easier way. All right, so right there. Perfect. After that, is it one more down for the pink? It is one more down for the pink. Okay. There is just get good. Mm. You drive a hard bargain there, sir. Hard freaking bargain. Back in my day, there were no such thing as bargains. <laughs> uh, how do this? We need... We can do that, right? And then trim off some of this as needed. Like that. And then if we just start there, I guess. Not there. Q, but you're wrong, buddy. Q, but you're wrong. It's easy if you have a block below it. It's a pain in the ass if you do not have a block under it, honestly. A lot of shifting, a lot of turning. Uh, All the things. Give me that stare. Wasting. All right, so we want the wall to match the same on both sides here. This is the idea behind it, what we're doing right now. If it matches both sides, I think it'll be pretty good. And then it's really easy for us too, because we could do something weird like a sugarcane farm in the middle of this. I'll just have like Khan, you know, design me a sugarcane farm that will work inside of here. 
It'll work great. An automated sugar cane or bamboo or kelp farm. One of the three. That'd be great. I think this is like the most simple way that we can recreate the wall though is just to do what we did on the other side on this side so that it looks more natural. Keeping the one middle on the same on both. I think that'll work. Alright, so we got our pink. What's after the pink? That is the Oh, the, the wood goes below the pink, huh? Wood goes below the pink? Oh, it does. Uh, oh, shit. No, wood goes below the nether brick. Not the pink. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, what? Wood goes where? I really love having those cactuses there, by the way. Looks super good. Uh, okay, so let's pillar up here then, so we can figure that out. Alright, so... Wood goes below the nether brick. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to need what? Sandstone. So we need. Three from the corner of that? Is that viable? That's the corner. So it would be from here. So you do one, two, three. Right? One, two, three. And then it would be a wood one here. Or was it... Would it be... Yeah, it's from here. Uh, would it be like that then? The pattern's going to be different. Oh, no. I didn't think about this. Pattern's going to be different. Oh, man. It can't match the front because it's slightly off, huh? Yeah. But if we did this like we did over here and did the nether brick like adjacent, so you would do it like here, then maybe it works. Give that a shot and just see if that feels right or if we're we're way off here. Which we could be. That's terracotta. That is not the correct block. Uh where are we going? Where are we going? Alright, so This is going to be a very tight space here. Very tight spot. Something like that. And then can we make... So you'd have to do one, two, three, 
I guess. And then right here would be the next one. Yeah. Okay. No, it kind of works. It kind of does work. Okay. Uh, we are going to call it here, though, for today. I know we did not redeem our channel point redemption fully, but we will. And this is starting to make a really, really good progress, and I'm very happy with it, with how everything is coming along. So, thanks for watching, for lurking, for subscribing. Appreciate you guys. And uh, until next time, ciao.